I went and I just grabbed a bunch of different screwdrivers. Okay, see all these different tips? Is I'm going to take and do this and I'm going to look up there. Not only did you check to make sure that you could see through it, did you go ahead and verify that it actually is through. The one that we used to take this out I don't think is ideal for this, um, but it is not. You see how it would barely grabbed it? Yeah. Woo, boy, it's a good thing I went really slow, right? Mm -hmm. Could I take this screwdriver and file it down to make it beautiful for this jet? Yeah. Yeah, how about we do that? How about we go ahead and fix that and fit that up? Let's just try a couple other ones here. So this one. That one looks like it's going to be pretty good. Okay, it's, it's not, oh, though, no, isn't it? No, it's See? Not. This is that whole thing, and could you, you know, this, it's a Harley carb. If you're doing Harley work, you're going to have a bunch of these? Yeah. Yeah, go make your screwdriver be done with it, buy the right one. That looks pretty good. Woo, but we just wish it were wider. So remember, mm -hmm. it, it felt like it fit good, but I just wished it were wider. Yep. Okay, so this is a good one for that. Um, we'll go ahead, uh, just to make a point, and we will grind uh, this one that's already modified. We'll thin this out, make it perfect for this, and pull <coughs> it back into the video. I had this in the disassembly video, but I... I'm reinserting it here. It's just so valuable. If you want to not damage these jets, you really need to make screwdrivers like this for removal and installation. And I'm going to hold these parts tight. Okay. <laughs> I always like to take and look at it with a light, just make sure things are good. And then I'm just going to go about reassembling this carburetor. I'm going to drop that down there in the right position. Remember that little cradle I showed you before? this okay now this is brass going in here do you think there's a torque spec yeah oh, look oh, boy. I don't think there is oh, boy. but I'm curious now that I asked the question big fan of always blowing through all jets no matter what okay. we've got this stuff documented on here all right, listen to me on this. Watch what happens here. If I take this screwdriver, okay, you notice I have a nice fitting screwdriver, by the way? Yep. Okay, if I take and do this, it's going to turn the whole emulsion tube. If I've already tightened that, and now I put my main jet in, what am I gonna do with that emulsion tube? Tighten it. I'm gonna make it too tight, right? So you wanna make sure and hold this, and then back up the camera so you can see my body here. This is that whole thing that I was talking about in disassembly. Do you see that nice working surface that I have? Yeah. Okay, so I can put that flat. I can go ahead and support this like this. Grab this, and I want that good and snug. Man, I do not, I don't have a way to tell you a torque spec or anything else. This is a tough one to teach because it's definitely about feel. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is my pilot jet. I talked about this before where I'm going to blow through it, so I'm going to do that now. And then we're going to take and actually do this. Okay? And what I'm feeling for that you can't see in the video is my fingers are feeling, they're catching the side of this, I'm feeling the air blow through there. Okay? Make sense? Yep. Now, the other thing you want to do is you want to absolutely make sure that you can see light through this thing. Watch what I'm going to do here. I can fill it bottomed out. It's, it's seated in like an eighth of a turn. I'm done. Should be good. They're not going to vibrate out. I'm not going to have any problems. So let's take a look at these couple of items here. Notice the significant difference in the, the sides of that and the shape. Yep. Okay, this side here is the side that was in the carburetor and it needs to be. Okay, this side here, the bottom these can be attempted to be put in the wrong direction. It's, it, it's just not going to work, but let me just model how this is a problem. If you're ever forgetting this, one thing you can look at is the bottom of the emulsion tube. Do you see how the two match? Yeah. Yep. Do you see how they kind of get, they give themselves a nice seat? Because I'm going to take this threaded brass one to push this up into the car body, and that's what's going to locate it. Okay? If I put this like this, you know, that is not how it's supposed to work, but we have another problem by putting it in wrong, is 
in the right position, okay, when it's incorrect, watch what happens. I can go ahead and that needle goes all the way through, right? Mm -hmm. If this is in a carburetor where it can be put in upside down, hmm. and the other thing is I'm not getting the same amount of fuel metering, I've got a problem there. Make sense? So I'm not going to try and force it in the wrong way. I'm just going to make a point of that it is directional and it needs to go in the right path. Okay, so these low guys right here, how important is it that you think you need to clean those? Blue. Okay, you can see light through them right now because I just kind of moved it around here. I'd want to make sure and hold that up, you know, and that I could see light all the way through. That's where the air is going to come through. Main circuit right down the middle, we said super important on this. We talked about our built-up assembly. I will try and see if this what will happen if I go in wrong here. Yeah, this one will let me go wrong. So check this out. Okay, see how it's sticking up a little bit? Yep. yep. Boy, if you know better though, that's not good, right? Mm -hmm. Here's where the bigger problem gets. If you're not paying attention, if you don't know, you don't have the training, you're not watching these videos, look at how many threads are exposed here. Could I go ahead and crank down on this? Oh yeah. Absolutely I can. There's, I mean, I could go ahead and do that. My problem is it is going to either strip threads. Now what's happening, if somebody's pretty good with their tightening ability, they might just quit. But let's see what happens when I go ahead and build the needle back up. Okay, watch what happens here. Do you see how that is literally at idle? It's literally plugged off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not going to be good, right? Uh, do you notice anything else about the slide? It's not all the way down. It's not all the way down, right? I'm going to go ahead and put it in the right way. See how much further my slide went down? Yep. You know, look at that. Okay, it's all the way bottomed out there. And then look at the difference on, you know, on that assembly there. Do you see how there's a hole all the way around it now? There's a relief? Yep. There you go. There's a good shot of that working. Same as all the other parts, thoroughly clean and reinstall. And then I'm just going to go about reassembling this carburetor. I'm going to drop that down there in the right position. Remember that little cradle I showed you before? All right, listen to me on this. Watch what happens here. If I take this screwdriver, okay, you notice I have a nice fitting screwdriver, by the way? Okay. If I take and do this, it's going to turn the whole emulsion tube. If I've already tightened that and now I put my main jet in, what am I going to do with that emulsion tube? Tighten it. I'm going to make it too tight, right? So you want to make sure and hold this and then back up the camera so you can see my body here. This is that whole thing that I was talking about disassembly. Do you see that nice working surface that I have? Okay. So I can put that flat. I can go ahead and support this like this. Grab this, and I want that good and snug. Man, I do not, I don't have a way to tell you a torque spec or anything else. This is a tough one to teach because it's definitely about feel, okay? The next thing that we have is our needle here, and this is a big one that I feel people don't do enough of. You can barely see a ring around that, but it's hardly nothing. I can't fill it with my finger. Put this under a magnifying glass. You guys at home, you know, back up. Use something like this. If you can't see, take your cell phone out, take a picture of it, blow the picture up so that you can see it. I'll demonstrate that here real quick. I could take this needle, I could simply do this. Think of using your technology here. You could blow it up and use your camera as your magnifying glass. Uh, we just had uh, Brock here bring up the fact that he had a bad one. Take a look at the real definitive ring around the tip of that valve. You can start to see a more of a ring. We can really fill this with our fingernail though. Can you see it there? Yep. Yeah, you can see that discoloration. You can really fill this one on your finger here. And then as I look at this one here, we gotta think a lot harder to be able to use this cool technology to our benefit, you know? So uh, whenever possible, we like to use a rubber tip one, which are stock. Some people uh, convert them, have had some luck, but uh, is definitely something that needs inspected.